What is up everybody, welcome to this new video up to express. I'm going to be showing you how to add a buy button into your actual website. So it's actually really, really simple. There's two ways that we can do this. The very first way is to create a custom page for the product you're willing to sell. For example, if I go into my Shopify dashboard, if I focused into my products, and here into my products, I get started with a new product. Let's say, for example, that I am selling uh, one sticker human humans uh, logo. And here into the description, this is uh, just a sticker, for example. I'm going to hit into media. I hit into add my files. I'm going to choose, in this case, the logo of my personal sticker which in my case is this one and the price let's say for example is 45 converted price let's go for 33 and now i'm gonna hit into save there we go now i'm gonna hit into this uh, new section that says preview and this one is going to be generating me a new section where people can buy my product as you can see this one has 45 quantity whatever you wanted to and here have the buy it now button this is something that we can do um, really, really easy directly into the product section. But if you wanted to add a buy button manually, what we need to do is to do this from the editor of the actual Shopify. So let's go back. Let's go into my online store. Here into my online store, I'm going to hit into my pages. And here into my pages, what I wanted to look for is into this one. I click the and I hit into more actions and they can, you can edit this into your uh, editor. In my case, I do have PageFly. So PageFly is a page editor that actually looks really, really great. But since we don't want to work with applications, we want to work only directly from Shopify, we're going to be doing this directly into the editor of Shopify. So let's go here into online store, look out for your current theme and hit into customize. Now, as you can see, I am now inside the home version of my store. This is how it actually looks. So as you can see here, I have almost anything, but what I'm going to be doing here is to add a new section. And here, let's say, for example, that I wanted to add an image with a text. So here it is. So as you can see, this template has an image, has a text, has description, and it has a button label. Usually the button label, you can just change the text and you can add your button link. So this is another way of how we can do this. If you want to add a custom button, for example, I can always go back. Here I'd have a new add block. And here you have the caption. For example, here into the caption, I always click for the, and here I have the add tagline so I can always try to change this for a new element but in my case I don't want to do this I'm going to just focus into this button so I click the let's say that I delete this element and lost or by now button link I'm going to move this into products and here I wanted to add the product that we were actually uh, creating a few seconds ago like this. It looks great. Now I'm going to delete this image with text and I'm going to change this for sticker and put text with an image to focused. I'm just going to go with this is just and sticker. Now, if you are willing to use this button to automatically send you directly into the payment section, I want to delete this. And where it says paste a linked or searched this is the part where you wanted to go directly into the buy now for example let's say that i wanted to use my paypal account i look out for my paypal account and i paste that paypal directly in here so i go here and what it says buy it now as you can see this buy buttons show dynamic checkout button so recipient information form to the gift cards and all of that elements and all of those elements are added inside the product information so adding a new section or adding more products let's say for example this buy buttons i can duplicate this if i want to in my case i don't need to do that so that's the reason why the buy button it now is now being added automatically now what you want to do is to hit into save I'm going to hit into the three dots and check it out how it's going to be looking my product just to make sure that it's actually working. 
So scroll all your way down and look out for the buy button. I click the and as you can see, I have the buy button now. Now, before you are willing to put this as active your store, you want to make sure that inside, I'm going to go back into my dashboard. You want to go directly into your settings sections. And here you want to go into the action. Inside payments, you want to add a payment provider in order to accept money. So you want to go and choose a provider and choose the element that best suits for you. To better help you, you can always input payment method and only add the elements that you're willing to receive. Let's say, for example, Apple Pay, you want to receive Master and Visa. And there we go. For example, the best solution for me is Stripe. So I can choose Stripe. This one should be sending me directly into my Stripe account in order to connect my Stripe account directly into Shopify. And now my buys and button are now going to be enabled inside my Shopify. So this is how we can enable and create a buy button into your Shopify store. With that being said, we have not reached the very end of the video, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe just in case you have any question. Just in case you wanted to check it out more elements, you can always leave a comment down below. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And hopefully we can all see you on a next video. See you soon.